I think we're ready to move on forward. To Route 3. Handed out some potions. Sure. Didn't think about this, but... Galar. Galar Route 3. And it tells me things that I can catch. Ooh. You're not very common. If we run into a sizzlepeed, we'll hydrate. I shall hydrate. This thing is... This drink that I'm having... is having a hard time getting through my... Cup. What are you? Big mushroom? Alright. I'll probably have to add some water to this in a bit. I don't know why I walked away from... Travis is all you remember on this route. That's fair. Yeah. Wait, Trub... No. I was gonna say Trubbish is also dark, but... Trubbish is not. It was a lowland monk. Has dark typing. Additional. Also, how are you doing today? Um, I got the shiny Dottler at the beginning of last stream, actually. <laughs> Well, not the Dottler. It was a blip bug when I got it. Just very lucky in that aspect. At the time, like, I didn't realize I had caught it either. But it was the first Pokemon I encountered in the game. I think? No, it wasn't the first. But it was definitely the first blip bug I had encountered because I didn't realize it was shiny. Bug. Yeah, Dottler evolved. Or, Blipbug did evolve in the Dottler last stream as well. Hmm. Yeah. Like, Dottler. Or, Blipbug does not look very different in its non shiny form. So, you. I was having to remember what I needed. Yeah, within the game, I got re or within Pokemon Home, I got rewarded with the starter set, which is kind of nice. Cross floors data added. And we'll not be adding across the floor to the party at the moment. <laughs> That's fair. Like, I would have probably skipped it if I hadn't noticed. Let's see, Roly Coley and Trubbish. Like the only other new thing is Sizzlepeed, and it has a 1% chance of spawning in random. I don't know if Sizzlepeed has more spaces. Is the issue there? Motor Stoke Stadium? Oh, yeah. And then in Max Raid Battles out here? Hmm. So this is actually the best place to get Sizzlepeed outside of catching him in the... in the gym. Yeah. I've not actually looked at the Shiny Fort... I don't think I've seen the Shiny Fort War Beetle because... Like, I've looked him up on Bulbapedia, and that's the one thing I've seen that they don't have is shinies for this generation filled out, it would seem. 
or at least the uh, sprites. Or beetles red turns into blue. That's cool. I probably have to put someone else out front. But I also need to spend time doing this. Because if I don't catch him now, and I don't catch him at the gym, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do this anyways. So I may as well use the time. Oh yeah. Yeah, like, I'm gonna have fun with the Dotler and Orbeetle combo. Also, because of how tanky he is, the Leftovers Dotler is easily able to carry me through a lot of stuff at the moment. Rugity actually might have a good chance against Dollar just because of the mix of Peck and Dark type moves I forget the name of. Power Trip, there it is. Yep. Lugia was meant to be an anime exclusive Pokemon. Like the Lugia in the Lugia that showed up as an exclusive in um what is it called? Well, in the Pokemon show that's on the anime or on Netflix, or is it meant to be something else? I'm at the moment on the show in general, so it was not supposed to show up anywhere except the <laughs> me win the win I, yeah. Rookity level 13. Alright, let's see. I don't want to really utilize him overly much, but... Also, everyone's gonna get their turn eventually. Hello, Ray. Now, oh, this actually might hurt. We'll see what moves you use, and then we'll go- okay. Like, the original designer for it? That's interesting. Oh, uh, you've got both. Yeah. I want confusion- oh, I was gonna say. I want Confusion to confuse the Vulpix. I got what I wanted. Let's see. Put up a light screen because it's got Ember. Help myself by hindering for a few turns. Hopefully we can get some... Eh, eh. That's no big deal. There we go. Yeah, that's an interesting thing. 
It'd be something I might look at, look at, look into out of curiosity. Not because I don't trust, it's just the the original creator of Pokemon, since it, it is a Gen 2 Pokemon, I thought he was still making most of them, is the thing. There we go. The only issue here is all of the starters are going to level up rapidly. I should also just send things in for being super effective against others. Especially, mostly on trainers. For this, it's whatever. Although, I do have something that is super effective, so I kind of should use that. I was lucky with getting an early leftovers, I think. Ooh, that's harmful. That's not good. Put Yamper in there just so it doesn't faint. Rupity used home claws again. That's not good for me. Does Yamper have quick attack? No, but it does have nuzzle. This Rugity really wants to start one-shotting stuff, doesn't he? That's fine. Boom. There we go. Probably not the best idea to do this at the 1% rate, but it doesn't look like there's any better places to catch one. Sent to Scorch. Outside of doing... raids. Sizzlepeed, my bad. Because I want the lower level ones starting out. Ow. Yeah, like, Motostoke Stadium is the best way of doing that, but that's way off in the distance right now. Hard to say. I could use a better move on Yamper for type advantage. Let's see. Let's just go with something that hurts better. There we go. Hey, Flint. Oh, yeah. Gotta remember the flinch and paralyze combo. It can come in really handy. In tight spots. Maybe I should wait on Scissorpede.
Hard to say. Now you're hurting my amper. It is just going to keep being these rookity, isn't it? Just block the Amper to the front in a minute, just so I can get more out of this. We will nuzzle. Huh. <sighs> I'm going to end up needing to recover someone. Oh, hello. Fancham. Sure, let's send Score Bunny in. Fancham is normal, not dark. Score bunny. A lot of damage. And Chan used taunt. Alright, double kick. Again, the starters are going to be overly strong most of the time. Oh, Rookity. What is your spawn rate out here? It's got to be decently high. Random encounters? Oh yeah, 35%. I'm surprised I've not run into more Pokemon variety. But I'm also grinding out for the 1% because, um, I'm foolish. I could also just move forward. Haha, <laughs> yes, Riley. Oh, the me win win the. That's fair. Oh, adjust anyone around. 
Cool, let's put Rookity out front for a little while. Ah. Oh. Ah. Familiar with this foolishness. Oh, the low percent chance drop rates. Claws and see if we can get some actual heavy damage on this Zigzagoon. <laughs> because Peck doesn't do much, but two attack ups definitely help. means score bunny evolves so not cinderace but the mid one ahead and get the rock the rock and roller if I'm not mistaken that's what it is before I run out of Pokemon to battle with. There we go. So Power Trip is also improved by the amount of stat buffs you have naturally. Or the amount of stat buffs you have on you, so having two of them Activate quickly in that manner. It's really nice because Rookity can hurt a lot really quickly. You have double home claws because you get two for one turn. I think I used it strategically in my original playthrough of this game until it felt like maybe not the best move. Oh no. Yeah, this should also one-shot. It's fun. Sobble should be evolving now, which will slow down their level up process, hopefully, because they should be getting less experience moving forward. Hey, Drizile. Welcome. Okay. We'll take on a Growlithe. It's actually a good use of Drizzile. Why not? I don't know why I'm always so 
so pent on getting everything when they first arrive when I'm doing this. Like, or when they're first available is a good way of putting that. You are fighting type, so you gain you, or you gain darkness later. That's my bad. Okay. Okay, I was about to say, did that hit me six times? That felt a bit much. Circle throw. Not very effective, yeah. Come on. No. Alright, Rookie. No, okay, cool. We did not go down to that. But Rookie probably doesn't need to be on the front lines for a minute. Although he did level up. The Emperor... The Emperor wants to learn Roar. Roar does what again? Eh. We'll not do that for now. The goal here is to try... That was weird. The sunlight on that Zigzagoon made it seem like it might have been a different color. <laughs> this episode if I don't, or towards the end of this episode if I don't have my sizzle peed, we'll just move forward and I'll come back for it at intervals. That was, oh, critical. Nice. And Rookie made it, too. So we have Three evolutions. Well, four, counting or the the bug Pokemon. I don't know why I have a hard time with remembering that one. What's up, Flacky? How you doing? Oh, double hit. Okay, you get moves now. 35 twice. I'll put that here. I don't have a good status move. Status? Stat move? For him. base what this guy gives or girl we'll base our next decision on how this goes because I do need to move forward school girl Hannah hello Hannah without a pen champ all right look at e, I think you've got this or you get two home falls off without issue maybe Fair. 
Alright. Sure, let's put Dottler in there. This time we're just gonna hurt him. <laughs> I always love seeing that. Um, it makes me happy. Shuprofracto, Circle Throw. I'm not sure how much that's. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Oh! Okay. Have your fun. Dollar leveled up. Cool. Let's think about it. Do I want to go heal? Yeah, sure, we'll go. Actually, rather than fully heal, let's just do a Pokemon camp. Good question is, can I access my bank from here? Boxes? I can. Alright. So yeah, we'll use the camp. Real quick, since I've got the excess. Menu. Cooking. It's probably not more convenient than anything else. I don't know how this actively works. I don't know if I need to put more berries or if I can get away with the less. Curry foods they give or show off in this game look quite nice. I might have stirred too fast, I feel like, towards the end there. Sweet sausage curry. Got it in the higher class. Cool. So we're done there. I actually need to reopen the faulty tech program real quick. There you are. Reload my standard. He had one extra. So if no one knows what the faulty tech thing I'm doing and talking about is, it's uh this should there you go show up on stream in a moment me but what we do is we randomize the team that i'm going to be using after every heal that i do so let's see what pick swaps does three five and six so three swaps with one Five swaps with seven, and I get my choice after putting Reboot away. So I'm gonna stick you, because I need you two to level up a little bit anyways. Everyone else was kind of in level order at the time. And yeah, that's just kind of how it works. And yeah. Quick heal, my team is ready to go. And hopefully I can find a sizzlepeed as we move forward. Hopefully.
Actually, those two could possibly go ahead and go towards the front of the party. Yeah, just having the freedom to do whatever whenever is nice. Let's see, level 8. I think you'll do fine. And if not, we can cover you. And it is not a full random choice. It's not fully full random. Like, there's certain po or not certain Pokemon, but there's... If you looked at it, there are... I have a minimum, or minimum of two swaps, maximum of four. So I will always have at least two good Pokemon to mess around with. Just in case. Ow. Yeah, you probably... Do better. Well, Poke might not be a bad choice here. Just because. Hello, buddy. Arm thrust. Yeah. Not very effective. Yeah, anytime I do a tent heal or a major heal at a Pokemon Center or faint, we're swapping teams. I might do it after each gym. I'm not sure at the moment how that was going to feel. But we're going to try and get everyone into play as often as they can. Or at least often enough. Hopefully. There you go, Aracuda. You're better now. Well... Slightly. I don't know why, but I keep assuming that I'm gonna end up with a... tiny... Rookity. For no reason. Aracuda. You're doing good for me. Let me check your ability real quick. Swift Swim. Alright. Probably also could have just hit here and looked at it. That's fine either way. Let's get another Fury Attack in. And hope it does just as well. Alright. Good job. Good job, Aracuda. Alright, let's move into this next patch. And we keep running into Rookity anyway, so if it does turn shiny, or if one shows up as shiny, that's a positive thing. <coughs> So if you see me looking way off to the side or anything weird, it's because I have a relatively decent sized screen. Swap team for real quick. because I'm not sure how Aeroscuta was going to handle. I probably spent way too much time trying to find a Scent Scorch in that first little bit. Kind of forgot that this is not a super short area.
Wild Pokemon. Still not a sense of Scorch. The reason Sense of Scorch are hard to find is because Rookities are eating them all, man. Again, little puppy. Is paralyzed. Bite still technically does more damage. Oh, crit. Nice. And Arakuda. You're actually pretty defensive for what it's worth. You're okay for speed. Let's see. Yeah, you're fine there. Alright. 